Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing chef for brunch with Brie. The chef of the restaurant management game in which you create your own character, acquire supreme cooking skills, customize restaurants, design unique menus, and devise innovative recipes with the realistic editor. So this game actually came out August of 2020 from the developer Inner Void Publisher Digital Tribe. And I played this game back, I don't know, it might have been in 2020, actually. I did, I think, like one episode of it. So it's not new to my channel, um, but at the time that I played it, I think it was like alpha or early access or something, and they've changed it a lot. So I have been itching to get back into it. So here we are. All right. Uh, so let's do, I don't want to do free mode. Let's do story. Um, low game is here, but there's nothing here. Um, it had that old save file on there and I deleted it because that was years ago, clearly. So let's just do a uh, story. Okay, I'm cutting back in here after doing that whole intro spiel because we went into story mode and story mode is not where you want to be if you don't remember the daggone game. Because I don't remember anything and I went in there and it was like, go. It was like the business bankrupt, save it. And I'm like, I don't even remember how to play. So you want to do free mode, I think, because that's where you have this right here um to start customizing so this is where we're gonna start okay all right so we have the body i wish they moved this a little bit so you can at least see oh okay well that's kind of annoying um let's just look at all the options i don't like that one. Oh, do you choose no hey yeah okay you get to choose them all actually i think i like that one Ooh, never mind. I like that one. <laughs> okay, yep. So let's do this one. So head, we have that one, this one, that. I kind of like that one. This one and that. Actually, I actually like that one. Let's do that one. Ooh, hair. Okay, lots of options here. Um, because there's no easy way to just like click through them, let's just maybe do a few that are notable. So like there's this one. I actually kind of like that. Glad you can't rotate it, but that's cute. This one, cute. Oh, she moved her head. Okay. Yes, thank you. That one, that one's cute. Uh, what's this one look like? Okay, it's a bun. This one, obviously, I like. Wait, that's not it. Oh, great. So the afro don't work. Seriously, the one here that I actually was thinking about picking doesn't work and it's the one ethnic type hair awesome don't you love that oh i like this actually i like this little scarf thing let's do the scarf um i don't want black hair like a oh no let's just do black hair oh you know what i do love a blue hair but if we're gonna have that outfit on let's just do black hair i'm fine with that uh, skin color, I'm fine with that, but here are the other ones. Since I'll go through them since there aren't many. All of them. All right, so back to this one. Face detail. So there's... Ooh, you got piercing. You have some freckles. There's an eyebrow piercing. I like that one. <laughs> Expression. Let's just look at all of them. There aren't that many. Mm-hmm. That, that one looks stressed. Oh, gosh. I think I want that one. Huh. Yeah, I think I want... Was it that one? Yeah, I think I want that one. Get some clipping with the clothes. Maybe I don't want this because I'm tired of looking at that clipping. Um... Can we do this? Uh, oh gosh. So it resets everything. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I said I like the scarf. Hair color black, skin color the same. Face details, we got that one. I think it was this. Okay. Oh, you can't change the blue. Oh man. Oh man. And that clips too. Okay, this one, you might be able to change it. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's see. 
Yes. Okay. We're going with this one. This is, oh gosh. <gasps> we picked a male figure. I just thought maybe the clothes were examples, you know? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yes. Oh, yay. That one. That one works. But now I don't want it. Now I want the scarf. <laughs> yep. I want the scarf now. Okay. Let us continue. Now we know what we want. Okay. And I think I'm okay with the... No, I'm not. I want... Uh, nope. Pants can be white. I want... All right. That's what I want. Okay. Difficulty. Normal, a balanced experience that will challenge your management skills without being too harsh. A challenging experience. Oh, hardcore. A challenging experience. Sometimes painful failure is behind the corner. Relaxed. A relaxed experience allowing you to focus on the creative aspects of the game. And then sandbox. You start with the, you start the game with the GDP of a small nation as budget. With no pressure to make profits, feel free to get creative. Okay, so this is nice. And depending on your desire and how you like to play games, this is nice. All right, so now our picture. That's our picture right there. Did I take it? I think so. <laughs> All right, let's start. Let's go. All right, click on the district. Click on the district icons on the map. So. Oh, oh my gosh, so much. Okay. The restaurants available for rent. So commercial district. Okay, so these little blue things are residential districts. Purples are uh, sub suburbs. The green windmills countryside. This two house one is small town. Doesn't really let you, okay, here we go. I gotta use my keyboard. Have we not seen any type? Is there no like, oh, here we go. Here's another one, industrial district. Um, it's like a, like a waterfront type district. That's what I'm thinking, you know, like some type of waterfront district, but I guess not. That's fine. So it's, can we pick anything or is there like a particular, um, one that we're supposed to be doing because I kind of let's do let's do this little commercial one. All right, so let's rent. I don't, I don't even know how much money we have, but it looks like it's close to the center. This district is close to the city center, meaning its rent is higher than average. The effect is plus twenty five percent restaurant rent. Oh gosh, but it says restaurants and district. This area is full of restaurants and luring customers is much harder. Oh gosh, I don't want this one. The bright side is that food lovers often visit the area in search of good meals. Look at all those customer types. Cheapskate, blue collar, white collar, family low, family high, tourist low, tourist high, food enthusiast, gourmet, vegetarian, and vegan. Yeah, we don't want that. That's not good. Close to the, so maybe we don't want close to the center. What's this? Oh, old town. What's this? Full of ancient now streets. Expect much less customers. I guess you kind of have to just figure out what you're willing to deal with because I'm not seeing. Let's do this one because here's only one negative, and that's the being close to the center, so the rent is high. But there's a hotel in the area that some of its visitors may become customers of yours, and then here are all the different customer bases that might be here. Maybe let's do that one. Deal. Are you sure you want this to be your first restaurant? You'll be able to change later at any time, but after spending your budget on furniture and staff, you probably won't be able to afford a different restaurant for some time. That's fine. Welcome to the world of cooking professionals. The time has come to set up your restaurant. Prepare yourself for a journey of endless shifts, annoying customers and pre preposterous taxation. You'd better start by furnishing your place with a few tools and tables. You don't want people to eat frozen food off the floor, don't you? Okay. Uh, do you want to start the tour? Yes. Let's do this. I do not remember anything. 
Remember on the right area of the screen, my may appear alerts of different nature. Their tool tips could help you understand what's wrong or what has been done or what has to be done. And clicking on them will redirect you to the panel in which you need to do things. Pay attention to alerts in the right area of the screen. So over here, okay. Now let's start by opening the furnishing panel. You can open it by clicking on its button in the lower left area of the screen. It's one of the big red ones. Open the furnishing panel, clicking on its button on the lower left part of the screen. Okay. This is the furnishing panel. You now need to place the counter in the kitchen, but first you need to switch from the paint mode to the furnishing mode. While in paint mode, you can customize your restaurant's walls and floors without any cost. To find the counter switch to the furnishing mode. Okay. Once you're in furnishing mode, search for the, a counter and click on it. Place an item, you, you just need to click on the one you want to customize, its color and or design. Then use the mouse to place it in the restaurant. Okay. Select the counter and place it in the kitchen. Hold shift to place more to place the items more precisely. Okay. All right, so we need to put, okay. First things first, I would, I wish, they had on the screen what they told you to do because I'm infamous for forgetting that type of stuff really quickly. Oh, here it is. Okay, place the counter, have a counter. Okay, so we're good, we're good. Did I just get rid of it? I sure did. <laughs> All right, so we're in furniture mode, so we need a counter. And look at this. It's already in blue, or do I have to pick blue? 180. What's my money? Okay, 7,500. I wish it kind of told you what the color was. It, it, like, I don't see a much, I mean, I see it, but it's really faint between those two. Um, So I wish there was a little bit more variety in the color. But I guess I'll just pick this one right here. And then. Oh, I got the rotate it. How do you rotate again? R? Nope. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, that's my camera. Oh, uh, right click to rotate. Okay. Good. The counter's in place. On counters, your chef will handle most preparations and then they will put them in the cooking tool they require. Let's now place a cooker. Okay. I want this blue. Like, how are you going to show me it's all prettiness and I can't actually get it? That's rude. Ugh, I don't like you can only change the handle. But that's fine. Let's just do this blue one. All right. Um, Turn this around. And he can... Look. Back here. Now you have a cooker. Your chefs will be able to put prepared recipes into them. And just go prepare something. Without the need of constantly looking at them. What now? Now you need... Oh, what now? <laughs> now you need to add the at least six tables. Open the respective section in the furnishing panel to find them. Okay, so six tables. Blase bloom. More tables means more customers. Okay. Uh, tables. Door. Okay, that's the door. 150. They're all 150. I don't like these booth tables here. I like booths. What's this one look like? I don't know, this is hard. All right, what's this one? Ooh, can you do blue? Ooh, you can do blue seats. I want this one. Blue table, blue seats, boom. We doing this. All right, six tables. So let's do one. Two. Turn this, I can see. Kind of want to move that one, but whatever. Three. Is that more? Eh. Let's just do this for now, because I don't want, um. I don't know what we're getting into. Now you have some tables. Feel free to add some more if you wish. Just avoid spending too much on them. It won't be easy to make money at the beginning. What now? Now you only need to place some decorations in your place. 
Every decoration item has a score of ambiance associated with a single style. You can easily move your mouse over the various icons to learn about customers' preferences once you've placed some items. What do I need to do? You need to place enough decorations to satisfy the cheap states, cheap skates. Unlike other customer categories, they won't require much. Just remember, the bigger your restaurant, the more furnishings you'll need to satisfy your customers. Okay. Uh, place enough decorations in your restaurant to lure cheapskate. Um, you can check their icon to know exactly when you placed enough decorations. Okay. So. Lure decorations? No. Well, can I do like a little welcome mat or something? Nope, that's too big. Like, can I do like a blue welcome mat? Like, can I put that like right here? Nope. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's do what's this? Wall decorations. Let's do room decorations first. And these vases are nice, but they're not in them. So we can do some blue. Ooh, let's do black. If the tables are blue, we can do black. But where is it? Oh, okay. So I can't do it in the okay. So because I placed it right here, it counts the whole spot. So I can't put anything in the corners. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. I don't like that then. Let's do some wall decorations. Oh, definitely like this little thing here. So where does it go? I can't put it above the door. Man, I feel like all the things that I want to do, I can't do. Like it won't go above the door. So can I put it over here? Like in between, like right here. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I don't like that. I don't want a fireplace. I mean, this is nice. Oh, wait, I'm not even paying attention. Who wanted this? That's rustic. Modern, general, general. So how do I know? Okay, so cheapskates like rustic. Okay, so we're good then. But I wish there was something else. Rustic one. Okay. They do like rustic. All right, so that's modern. Modern, modern, rustic. Okay, well, they like this, y'all. Let's go ahead and put this up. Two. I'm not exactly getting how, how we have enough, like how we know, but whatever. All right, so let's go back to this because we need to find more rustic stuff. Okay, so this is rustic. So let's go back to this and maybe just throw one in this corner. In the, the two corners since they're, hello? Why would you not, why would, why would you go there and not here? Why would you go there and not here? Make that make sense. Oh, is it because of the window? It might be because of the window and then here because of the door. So limited here. So limited. All right. Well, we're not doing that. That's general, elegant. This is rustic. But I don't know if I want to put a sideboard. Let's go back to this. Do a rustic. Oh, this is a small one. That looks kind of like a, um, a doormat. Eh. Yeah, this one. Uh, but you have to put it so far out. If I'm gonna do that, I might as well do a bigger one. Where's that big one at? Rustic. Yeah, this, mm, that's not it. That's not it. This one. Yeah, I might as well do this then. I don't like you walking. Uh oh, is that not rustic? Oh no, it's modern. Shoot. Um. So, sorry. Modern, modern, modern. Oh, so I have to use one of these. Okay, let's do the big ones then. Oh, okay. So it turned to a check mark. Okay, good. Your ambiance rating for cheap skates is cheap skates is now high enough. They will come to your restaurant. It doesn't mean they will be completely happy about it, but at least you'll get some customers. What now? 
Now let's head to the main menu. It's time to look. Oh gosh, I said main menu. <laughs> now let's head to the main menu panel. It's time to choose the recipes you're going to serve to your customers. Open the menu panel. Okay. Well, oh, I can't see. I was going to try to make it a runner, but you can't put, put them next to each other. Jeez, I already suck at decorating. So it kind of sucks that all this stuff is so limited, you know? All right, menu panel. It's time to fill your menu with recipes. Without a decent offer, people won't come to your place. And by several recipes with the same tag to your menu, you can activate special menu perks, allowing you to lure specific customers. Carefully assemble your menu. An interesting menu can attract much more customers. Navigate to various menu sections and drag recipes on the left side of the panel to add them to your to the current menu. You can also create your own recipes using recipe editor. Drag recipe. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only add recipes for which you have required tools. Add 10 recipes to your menu. Okay. So we need 10 recipes. Mm. So how do I know? Oh, here we go. 0%. What is this? So we can't change this. This must help with our menu. Okay. Uh Oh, tags. Dairy and heavyweight. Vegetable, dairy, healthy, and vegetarian. Those are appetizers, main course, salad, soups, side dishes, desserts, and beverages. Filter. Okay. Uh, I guess let's do, I don't want any of these appetizers. I guess we can do the quiche. How the heck does this work actually? No, I don't want to import recipes. I want I want you to tell me what the heck. Oh, oh. Y'all saw that? It worked. Why, why did I have to click over here to get over there? That was weird. Like, what if I don't want it? Delete. See? Okay, something is buggy, honey. I can't, oh, I don't have an oven. So I have to do one of these two. I get it. Get through this one. Tortilla de patate. patate. That's why I couldn't drag that because I don't have an oven. Okay. I get it, y'all. I get it. All right. Main course. Oh, gosh. Butter pasta. Delicious. Zero percent. Hmm, okay, uh, let's do some butter pasta. I love some butter pasta. No vegan recipe, so we should get something vegan. What's vegan again? What is the vegan tag? I mean, I, I know what vegan is. I mean, what's okay? So this little right here, the tomato pasta is vegan. But we can also do a light salad. Do a light salad to cover the vegan. Too small, very few ingredients. Let's go back to the main course. Let's do. Ooh. Actually, delete that. Let's do the fettuccine Alfredo. Ooh, grill. Oh, we can't do. Oh, we got a grill. We can't do a grilled steak. We can't do any meat because we don't have an oven to cook the meat. Well, that's poo poo. All right, so soups. What can we do? Ooh, mussel soup. Mm, give me that. Oh, delicious. What's this? You and greens. Okay. Oh, okay. We can't do any of these because we don't have an oven. Ooh, desserts. Banana bread with honey. Give it to me. Hello. Oh, delicious. Did you see that? Adding recipes changed your attractiveness. The bars you can see on the right. It represents how many people of a certain customer category you can lure to your place. Right now, you can only rely on cheapskates so to, oh, to make some money in popularity. Once your popularity will grow, you'll be able to expand your customer pool and focus on different categories. Good to know. 
Okay, so now we're at 100% for cheapskate. After we added that banana bread with honey. But let's do a drink. Discount cola, discount soda, mysterious blonde beer, or cheap blonde beer. Let's do a dis discount soda. And then uh, let's offer a beer. Let's do a cheap blonde beer. Yeah, let's do a cheap blonde beer. I need two. One for the drinkers, one for the non-drinkers. Too few ingredients. All right, so now let's see if we can do two things each. So we have banana bread with honey. We have to have a bread. Let's do some butter cookies. What's wrong? The menu has a limited offer, duh. Vegetarian friendly. Well, it's gonna be because we can't put no meat on this thing. We can't do any of those. We should order two soups. Let's do a tomato soup. Ooh, garlic potato soup sounds, sounds delicious though. Let's do the garlic potato soup, that one. And then let's do a turkey salad for people that, you know, want some meat. Good, now people can order something in this restaurant. It's time to hire a waiter since you will be busy in the kitchen, but you can also add more recipes if you want. How can I hire people? Open the staff panel and you can find the button on the lower left of the screen. I will meet you there, okay? But first I would like to have something else. So now we have turkey, so at least we have some meat. What's this mean? It's, it's red, why is it red? I don't know what that means. Um, is there anything here with some protein in it? Sheesh. Can't do any, oh, we can do the cod filet. Yeah, oh, or the prawns, but let's do the cod filet. That'll give some, a meat option. And then let's do one more. Okay, I guess we can only do the roasted onions. Yeah, okay, well, we have to do this one. Okay, so now we have at least two things on the item, on the um menu. And now we have vegetarian friendly, Still a few ingredients and then a healthy offer. Oh, we lost 10% attractiveness for the cheapskates. I wonder why. I wonder why. If I take this off, will it go back up? No. So it wasn't the, okay, so it wasn't the onions. Was it the cod? No, it wasn't the cod. Or you know what? It could have been a, um, it could have been a combination. What about that turkey salad? Let's take the turkey salad off. Nope. Yeah, y'all, it might be a combination of everything that I did. Ooh, what the fettuccine y'all afraid of? I'll get rid of that. Nope. I don't know. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll learn. We'll learn. Okay. Let's now go to staff. Here we have. Uh, here we are. The staff panel. And here you can review your staff and hire new people. Some candidates have higher wages, but will also be more skilled. During the course of the game, your staff will gain experience and you'll be able to specialize them in different fields. Now it's time to hire someone. Hire two waiters clicking on the respective buttons. Let's see who's available. So we got Chien, uh, Ichida, Ichika, Ahmed, Isabel, Zoran, and William. All right, so all of them are five, whatever that means. Wish I could, uh, let's try. Oh, 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 oh crap. Well, oh. they need to put what you're doing on the screen because I don't even remember what they just told me to do. They would hire a waiter, Isabel, Zoran, or William. Let's look at Isabel. Isabel has the welcoming skill level, service skill level, checkout skill level, and fitness skill level. Oh, how skilled. So Isabel's halfway for all of these. Oh, I hired her by doing that. Oh, shoot. Okay, oh well. What's this? Pay a hiring agency costs 500. Ooh. Paying an agency to find you suitable staff members is the best thing to do if you're in dire need of waiters or chefs. Ask around for people to hire. That's $100. If you're in a desperate need of staff and don't have any money, you could always ask around hoping to find someone decent. Put a job offer in the newspaper, $250. Searching for people by posting a job listing in some newspapers is going to cost a little, but it's easier to find good candidates. Okay. 
but why don't they let you see the people's um stats before you hire them like i just hired her when i thought i was just looking at at her skills so yeah okay so I have two waiters okay so then let's just do Zoran, look at that sad face. I don't know if I want that in my restaurant. So let's do William. Good job. Now you need to open your restaurant. To do that, head to the policies and decisions panel. Just like it happened with the other panel, you can find the button to open it on the lower left-hand area of the screen. Okay, policies and skills, furnishing, policies and decisions. Here we are, the policies and decisions panel. When a decision is available, a new alert will appear. Decisions will allow you to unlock a new item, search for new staff members, and many other things. Now, as you can see, there is a decision that can be activated. It's time to open the restaurant. Let's see how you do. Activate the open restaurant decision. Wait a minute. Didn't I just buy a stove? Activate the open restaurant decision. Okay, hold up. Okay. What's this? You need 50 popularity. Oh, okay. What the heck? Hold on. What the heck is this? A cooker. Does that not count as a stove? Steady flame oven. It doesn't. Oh, okay. Guess not. All right. Oh, game is paused. How do I un... Play. It said, let's see how we do. Let's do like two times to get some customers in. All right, so now we have two waiters. Ooh, hold on. Can we do, oh, there's no, I can't look at the options. Never mind. Hello, people. Welcome. Welcome to my restaurant. Welcome. That's a lot of people to only have one cook. How's my one cook gonna do this? And what's this up here? Customers waiting outside, customers ready to order, customers waiting to waiting to be cooked. <laughs> ah! Orders waiting to be cooked. Okay. Orders waiting to be served. Customers waiting to check out. Customers gone. Okay, so we have two waiting to be seated. Waiting outside. Oh gosh, there's a lot of customers in here. Oh, wow. A lot. Okay, so he's taking the order. I'm Oh, I'm cooking. Yes. Chop, chop. Oh, I hate this uh, going off the screen. What's this? No, that is. All right, I'm preparing. Uh-oh. So, so I think somebody left because... um. Because they were waiting outside. Too long. Because remember, we had some people outside. Ugh. I wonder how long they want us to go before they say something. I'm going to fast forward on four. See if anything pops. Oh, there we go. You know what happened? You got a review on Chef Advisor, the most important portal dedicated to restaurants. Let's go read it. You will find it's a button in the lower left part of the screen. Open the Chef Advisor panel. Okay. Let's slow this down. Uh, Chef Advisor panel. Here we go. Here you'll be able to learn more about what customers think of your place. Pay attention to both positives and negatives. Negative reviews. You may learn more about the needs of various customer categories. I want to know more about ratings. What would you like to know? Uh, prices? Different customers have different budgets. The higher the will, the will have to pay, the more the higher they <laughs> will have to pay, the more likely they will leave a negative rating. You will have to learn about the, the budget of your customer groups. Okay. While having a highly rated recipes on your menu on the menu is helpful, customer taste play an important role. Customers will give higher ratings to recipes with the tags they prefer. Okay, so you know what? I gotta figure out what tag the cheapskates didn't like. Cleaning policies and decorations will increase your ambiance rating. Invest carefully on those. You don't wanna lose all your money. The faster the service, 
the higher the final rating. It's easy to get good ratings when a restaurant is empty, but once the place is full, you better have trained staff at your disposal. Okay. To satisfy your customers, you will need to know more about them. As soon as you finish looking at Chef Advisor, open the stats panel. As always, the button's on the lower left. Okay. So here's the advisor. So we got two reviews. Um, they were average reviews. So we got a three star. Ambiance really low, but this they really liked the prices. But the service was, you know, good, and the food was okay. It's a good price. Selfies not allowed. Selfies not allowed. What? I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. So it said to look at that here. Here you can see many stats regarding your restaurant. Search for the button opening for the button opening the people's tab. And then you'll be able to find interesting information about your potential customer. Okay. So here's our cash people. Good. Take your time to look at the customer profiles before heading back to your restaurant. Remember, you will never be able to please everyone, so focus on one or two customer groups to maximize both your earnings and ratings. At the beginning of the game, it's easier to focus on cheapskates to gain some money and popularity. Good to know. Okay. So cheapskates like carbs and don't like dessert. What? Their spent budget is one dollar sign. Cheapskates expectations are low, but their budget is even lower. They prefer saving money than eating something good. Any of them for a different reason. There's a lot of them because not everyone is interested in high quality food. You better get rid of them as soon as you can. Oh, geez. Okay. So here are chips, cheapskates at their average expense is $1.83. We had 16 cheapskates today. So here, oh, cool. So here's the stuff they ordered. You can uh, filter it, expense, so the highest to the lowest. And what they rated it so everybody pretty much rated everything a three star i might have stuff that costs too much but i don't know mm, so today one i need to know which one of these have they like we didn't really sell too much banana bread with honey so it's almost like should i take the desserts off the menu if they don't like desserts I might need to do that, y'all. I do. So we got 51. Hold on, my pen. I'm gonna write this down. We got 51.99 current week in food and a dollar eighty in beverages. So I'm thinking it's 4 p.m. Can I change my menu? Oh, that's a task panel. Can I change my menu? Main course. If I get rid of desserts and then they like carbs. Oh, but the these desserts have carbs. So you think maybe this will counteract it if I give them some um mochi and milk cakes, that's carbs. They like carbs. And then for side dishes, I couldn't do either because I don't have an oven. The soups, not much I could do about that. Salad, not much I could do. All right, so main courses. I'm gonna get rid of the cod. We have the Alfredo and Let's do this tomato pasta. Yeah. I wonder how you get more menu items, you know? It's still very healthy. What if I get rid of the salads, like period? Aha! I got rid of salads and got up to 100%. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> 
Cool. Okay. So then let's fast forward to see what happens around here. Did we ever close? It's like nine o'clock and people are still in here. What's this? Oh, you can toggle what they can do. They can welcome customers, serve, and check out. Okay, so you can have different one. Why are they rest? Oh wait. Oh gosh. Wait. Pause. Should I close? Okay, so if I close, what'll happen to the customers in here? Oh, I can't close. See, so specialization, massive eating, vegan temple, tourist trap, cute little beet, uh, bistro. Okay, it's cleaning. Oh, it costs. Okay, kitchen cleaning. It costs money for these. Staff management, average salaries, flyers. You can do flyers. You can do billboards. Oh, wow. And you can unlock blogs, social media, newspapers, radio, magazines, internet, and television. That's pretty cool. But how how do I close my restaurant, though? Restaurant panel? Okay. This just tells me about what I have. Small hall, small kitchen. What district I'm, I'm in with the perks for that district. What my menu perks are. Mm-hmm. My waiters and their skill points. Ooh, can I do anything with that? Five. Apply to this waiter and the task he she does. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Take it out. Oh gosh, no, take it out. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do that because they might tell us how to do that later. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it wants me to do. Do now. Okay, so at the end of the day, I just fast forwarded and um, weekly balance. Awesome. Golly. Earnings, expenses. This is not good. Hello. Today's morale change is plus 35 because of the policies. And I even have morale. Okay. Did you sleep well? I hope you did. Now that you're back, it's time to learn about policies. Policies allow you to invest money on cleaning and marketing. Be careful with them because they can easily bankrupt your activity. Head to the policies and decisions panel. Once you are there, open any policy sub panel. Okay. So policies allow you to invest money to get powerful bonuses. Cleaning policies are mostly focused on improving the ambiance rating. While marketing policies allow you to gain influence points and or focus on specific customers. You will unlock more marketing policies once your popularity will be high enough. Okay. Did you want me to do something? That's the only thing I will say that's kind of annoying. It's like, I wish they just put somewhere <laughs> what you're supposed to be doing. Um... I guess maybe, I think this one's already on there. Greasy table. Just tell your customers not to put their elbows on the table. How are dirty windows an issue? You can always just turn the lights on. Opaque glass. Germ removal protocol. No, that's too high. Coke cockroach protein supplement. Insects are meant to be the food of the future. So what's the big deal if some fall into pots while you're cooking? That's disgusting. Well, to me, I know there are some cultures, but to me, I'm not eating a culture. I'm not eating a cockroach. So whoever wants to eat a cockroach that's on them, that's their lifestyle, it's not mine. While some customers appreciate the lottery that rewards the one finding floating objects in the toilet, most of them are just disgusted. Okay, what? I don't get this. Is it just like we'll, we're... If we do this, they're cleaning more. So if I click this, seven dollars an hour. Oh no! Oh, so we already have some in place. 
that aren't costing me anything. But if I do something else, it's gonna cost extra. No, I'm not doing that then. I'm not costing me extra money. We're not doing that. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this kind of first part here. We learned how to open our restaurant, get you know decorations and and um, you know tables and whatnot in the restaurant. Um, we learned how to pick our menu and you know understand our customer likes in this slice to pick a menu that's better for them. Right now, we're focusing on cheap skates, and we've learned about the policies. So um, I guess next time we'll we'll see what it is that they they have for us. But yeah, but oh, and we learned how to um hire staff. We got some staff here, two waiters. I'm wondering maybe we should hire some more staff. I don't know. Probably not. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. But yeah. But anyway, all right, y'all. Well, um, this will be the first part. Um, I will be back next week with Chef. Um, if you haven't been following my weekend, um, was it Simulation Saturday or Brunch with Brie on Sundays? Um, I try to do at least two episodes, um, at least. I think Bakery Simulator, I did three just because of where it fell um, of each game just to make sure we get into it a little bit because sometimes you got to give games a chance. You got to get past this whole tutorial phase to really get into the meat of the game. So I thought I always recommend people playing longer, like past the tutorial before they make a decision because you never know. And so far, it's... The, the tutorial part is actually what's annoying me. And I think I probably have more fun once we get past it, if that makes sense. <laughs> Just because I can't, like, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing at the time. Um, but it's still fun. But anyway, y'all, all right. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If I see more, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.